It's going to hurt, but he's going to do it anyway. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. All right, so look, like, my problem is this movie, at the end of the day, I don't know why it exists. Is there parts in this movie that are kind of entertaining? Yeah. Is it like watchable? Yeah, it's watchable. It's a watchable movie. The beginning is good. Harrison Ford is good. But once the movie ended, the thought that got that was in my head was just why? Like, what was that all for? What was the purpose of that movie? So there were rumors that the ending of this movie had to do a reshoot to change the ending because test audiences were not happy about it. And these were just rumors that many of the people involved in the project denied. But after watching this movie and seeing the ending, I would bet money that they did change the ending. And the reason why I really think that there was a reshoot is because in the original ending, if, if Helena's character would have taken up the mantle of Indiana Jones, or I don't really know how you take an actual person's like identity, but it would make more sense that that's how it ended because the movie would have at least had some cohesiveness to it. I wouldn't have liked that ending, but I see where they were going because without that ending now, it's like really weird. Like it just feels, I'm like, that was all for nothing. Do I prefer this ending though? I guess so. But the thing is, I, I'm not going to accept this as Indiana canon. I, I won't. I refuse to because I'm never going to watch this movie again. I'm going to rewatch um, the original trilogy. I'm going to rewatch Indiana Jones, but not this one because this one, I, I don't count it. And the thing is, the people in Hollywood, I, I'm just so sick and tired of it because this generation is not going to have their own characters. These people aren't making their own legendary characters. They're not making their own legendary stories. They're just like feeding off of things that have already been great. And then they're just sucking them dry for all they're worth. And it's just, I can't stand it anymore. And the Dial of Destiny, that idea is kind of cool. Like there's little like clips in time and you can go find like little like rips in time and you can go find them with this like little dial and maybe go back in time. That sounds like a fun adventure. But why does it have to be Indiana Jones's adventure? Oh, because he's a recognizable name. That's why, that's why. And I just, I can't stand it. Make your own characters. Why can't you make your own likable characters? Oh, because you guys are just creatively bankrupt or you guys just won't allow anybody, like you guys have just created this like bubble of all these yes men, of all these people that are just like-minded, like little drones. You're just a bunch of yes men. Isn't that right? Yes. That, oh, yes, sir. That just create the most generic, disgusting characters ever. And they push them out and they shove them out and they're like, oh, like us, like us, like us. And like this movie, because it has this, uh, this is connected to it. I, I just, I can't stand it anymore. Like I just can't do it. There's nothing else they can really tarnish anymore. Uh, well, no, there is. They're definitely going to. They'll find things. They're going to. But this generation doesn't have their own heroes. They don't have their own legendary characters. Uh, Stranger Things was the it's the closest thing I can think of to an original idea with characters that are like original characters that we actually like that aren't just rehashes of old characters or just characters we brought back to life to to shove in a movie to get more people in into the theater and i i hate it there's no re i just want something new i want something creative and i know why that they, they can't make their own characters because when they do make their own characters we get characters like this woman phoebe waller bridge's character as helena who honestly, people keep talking about Kathleen Kennedy having it like a self-insert character, um, and she's always putting herself in these movies. I, I don't know if that's true, but out of all the things I've seen that Kathleen Kennedy has been involved in, this feels the most like a self-insert with this character to me. So I, I wouldn't be surprised. So in the end, I feel nothing. But you know what, guys? What do you guys think? This is The Happy Critic. Just keep watching movies, guys, and keep being happy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.